Hello, Bill Shaka here. Welcome to another edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. <clears throat> uh, ladies and gentlemen, every couple days or so, I have to give my standard disclaimer. Please remember, these 5-Minute Motivators are one-take wonders. Uh, they are designed primarily to give you some information that you can chew on for the rest of the day. But there's not a hell of a lot of post-production work that goes into these things, primarily because I spend my time researching them, uh, the information, condensing the information down, and then getting it out there. So uh, the whole purpose of it is to just get you some information. The reason I say that is because the magpies are being kind of onerous th today. Uh, they're squawking and squealing quite a bit, so you may actually hear them. You may actually see them fly uh, in the background. Um, they, uh, they're they bluebirds with uh, kind of like white uh, feathering to them. And uh, they have a black mohawk. They, they kind of look like they belong in a mosh pit back from the 1980s. But uh, anyway, uh, you, you might hear them screaming a little bit. Okay, uh, anyway, uh, yesterday, hey, salespeople, how did you feel about yesterday? Why do salespeople make great sales managers? Uh, I, I'm sure you're all walking around uh, with your chests out, puffing like a peacock. Uh, today, what we're going to talk about is uh, why do salespeople suck at being sales managers? So uh, I, I'd like you to think about uh, the perspective that we had from yesterday, and let's think about what we're going to actually talk about today. Uh, look, salespeople, you're great at being uh, uh, windshield uh, warriors. Uh, you love getting out there and making things happen. Uh, but you've been doing this for years on your own. Taking that skill and transferring it now uh, to a management tool is very difficult. And, and I will tell you this. Uh, I, I teach a course in um, a course that I developed myself called the Emerging Sales Manager. And um, it's designed for new sales managers. And uh, one of the things we go over is time management, and, and most of them understand time management from a sales perspective, but they don't understand time management from a, a uh, coaching perspective in terms of how to get their people to become better time managers. So I, I have to spend some time unraveling time management, not as a personal tool, but as a management tool. But by doing that, what happens is they begin to understand, wow, this, this whole picture is much bigger than just me. Yes, exactly. Salespeople, if you're looking to get into management, remember, it's not just about you being a road warrior, being a windshield warrior. It's about you being able to take those skills and transfer them to other people. Now, the big question is, then how, how do I do that? Well, you do that with your behavior. I, I'll give you a quick story. Uh, I was working with a salesperson from a, um, a different company, but he was out with me. I was actually the salesperson uh, selling my uh, supervisory and leadership courses. And uh, we were going past a, uh, we were driving past a particular plant in a town in central Pennsylvania. And I said to him, hey, what, what happens there? Do you know what that plant does? Uh, I, he said, no. I said, do you know if they have any uh, uh, needs for leadership skills? And he said, no, I, I don't know. I said, well, let's find out. And I turned the car, and I was, I was going into the driveway, and I felt this person staring at me. And I looked, and he's looking at me like this. And I said, what's wrong? He said, you're just going to go in there without an appointment? I said, yeah, it's called a cold call. Let's give it a shot and see what happens. Uh, well, we walked in. Uh, I got the business card off the uh, uh, secretary for the receptionist for the plant manager. I gave them my card, and we followed up. Uh, we got back in the car, and I said, so what did you learn from this? He said, oh, my God, there aren't people at the door with spears that are going to uh, uh, throw them into me if I just stop in and ask for a business card. I said, bingo, you got it. Do you see how we transferred that skill of cold calling, but not by saying you have to make more cold calls? That doesn't work. Adults have to be shown. Children could be talked to and told. Adults have to be shown. Once he saw how cold calls could be made, then he learned. I'd like you to think about that, folks. Salespeople do not necessarily have to make poor sales managers. What they have to do is make better decisions about how they can transfer their exemplary sales skills into coaching tools. Bill Shaka, thanking you for your time. Looking forward to seeing you in the next edition of the 5-Minute Motivator. Bye-bye.